My name is Tom DeSutter. I'm a faculty member in the School of Natural Resource Sciences. I've been at NDSU for about 17 years. Uh, one, of the, one of the trainings I have is, is doing research using instrumentation. And so today at the field day, we were able to provide the audience a little bit of information about different types of inst instrumentation for different types of research questions. So as, as we would hope, all of our uh, experiments are driven by data. And one of the methods that we use to collect this data are the instruments and in such that as we can measure gases, we can measure temperature, we can measure relative humidity, wind speed, but we can also measure things that are below ground, such as the change in temperature below the soil surface, the water content, the um, gases that move up and down through the, uh, th through the soil profile. These are then used to make recommendations or scientific discovery that we then provide to NDSU Extension to provide information to our stakeholders. And so one of the projects that we've had uh, going on at this share farm is Brady Gettle uh, is a PhD student being co-advised by Dr. Franzen and myself. He did a large project looking at cover crops, uh, surface cover, and looking at the available energy in, the, in that soil profile. And so we're very excited to be able to share some of the work that we do. Uh, we, we, sometimes we teach our students at NDSU some of these techniques such that they can then be fostering research questions out wherever they end up. And one of the, it's always hard for oftentimes to conceptualize instrumentation, but a lot of it is actually off the shelf or we build the sensors ourselves. And so, and we use information from the medical field, from engineering, uh, from biology, and we use this information then to make our sensors, to collect data, to then help answer a research question. Mm -hmm.